So it's been a while since our last Craftopia update. So I decided, why not allow you to update it yourself? <laughs> so today, guys, I bring you Nexus Mods for Craftopia, a way to spice up your gameplay just a bit um, and allow for some different opportunities that you may not have had before. So if you've been in the game, or you've gotten to end game, or you've already had your fill with all that Craftopia has to offer, and please dive in, because there is a lot to offer in Craftopia. But if you still feel like you need more, and you're still waiting around for an update, come on over to Nexus Mods. We're going to download Bepin EX, throw it into our Craftopia folder, and then I will show you how to utilize some mods from the Nexus. Let's check it out. Starting off, guys, I will have all the links that you need in the description down below, but you're going to need to download Bepin EX. So you're just going to hit this manual install on the far right. It's going to take you to this page here. Hit the slow download. Give it a couple seconds. And bottom right should pop up for you in a zip file. So use WinRAR or a zip something to extract it. Pop that bad boy open. It's going to offer us an ad. I'm going to say not today. We got this over here. So what we're going to do now is this is the folder we're going to be working with. I need you to find where your Craftopia is located. So come to your Steam directory under library and find Craftopia. You can right click manage browse local files and that's going to pull it up wherever you keep it. So as you can see here I already have Bepin EX installed. So what you're going to do, I can find it, there we go. So you're just going to grab everything in this folder and you're going to drag and drop it into here. Um, anytime there's an update, you'll do the same thing and just replace all current files. So grab your things, drag and drop them into there. And uh, yeah, that'll get you started. That'll give you your Bepin EX folder. This is the folder we're going to utilize to throw all of our mods. So once you're in Bepin EX, we're going to basically be using plugins for everything. So Craftopia is not supported by Vortex or Mod Manager yet. So this is where you have to do it all manually, which also means if you need to get rid of any mods, you have to come into plugins and remove it manually. So yeah, it's just gonna be Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Craftopia. You're gonna drag and drop the BEP and EX folder, and then plugins is where we'll be throwing everything. So now, back to the mods. So now we have a list of mods to work with. From what I've noticed, all the mods after, maybe not all the mods, but most of the mods that are in the new year will currently work in game. Some maybe not, just because the February update changed some things. So there's a couple to pick from. Some of my favorites so far have been the big inventory. It's a big inventory, works really well. Uh, more boss loot is outstanding if you're playing with a group of friends. It will drop more loot depending on the number of players in the lobby. So that's also outstanding. We had a little bit of fun with more skill points. You get two skill points per level. Um, so with that and all the missions maxed out, it puts you at a total of 110 skill points. It gets to be pretty entertaining. And now the tricky one, um, the enchant menu. So this, you can use a washing machine and bless your items with whatever enchants you deem reasonable. So you can make literally whatever you want uh, with any enchant you want. It's pretty dope. But again, guys, I ask that you keep multiplayer uh, a clean world. I would hate to dilute everyone's hard-earned effort for the crazy materials, enchants, and crafting that they've done thus far just from somebody downloading this and enchanting willy-nilly. So have fun with it, but please respect the community. I would hate to dilute some people's hard-earned efforts. So that, guys, is how you get started with modding. We got the Bepin EX folder. So just to give you a idea of how this works, uh, let's download a new mod. We'll try Siren 199. Uh, pretty sure this mod just allows you to modify things to plus 199 regardless. So it looks like you can do the scythe or whatever else. Neat. All right, so we'll give this one a shot, guys. We're going to hit manual download, slow download, and once again, we'll click our zip file. And we're just going to extract this bad boy to our Bepin EX uh, plugin folder. So one, you could drag and drop into the plugin. Or two, you could hit extract to. And we're just going to go down and find. Oop. 
we'll go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. You're going to find Craftopia, Bep and EX. And inside Bep and EX, you're going to find plugins. And that's where we're dropping it and plugins. So extract to plugins. Takes like a split second. And it should be good to go. So assuming that worked out right, we should now be able to upgrade our scythe to a plus one. Let's check it out. There we go. All right, guys. Let's see if it worked for us. We got Ruler of Indigo, Underworld, Grim Reaper, Thor. We'll throw in more refining stones. Obviously, our inventory space works. <laughs> and last but not least, the piece Le Resistance. Ruler of Indigo, heal. Let's see what happens. Hey oh, look at that, guys. Hot damn. And that's how Nexus mods work. They're pretty dope, guys. Um, let's see what else I can show you all here. We got 110 skill points to work with. Very nice, very nice. And we got some pretty ridiculous enchants we can work with. They're pretty dope. Yeah, that's our shift E, which, hey, if you care to just see a list of enchants in game, this can definitely take you through it. There's quite a few, and just about all of these are actually findable in game. So uh, you can check out some of those other YouTube videos I got up for finding some of those rare enchants that maybe you haven't seen around. Look at that, guys. We got a plus one Grim Reaper. I'll take it. <laughs>